Last time we got as far as the donut fryer. Turning the handle moves the donuts through the hot oil. But I don't want to be standing there turning a handle all day, so the challenge is to make a mechanical handle turner. A weight hanging from a string could replace me easily. As the weight falls, it pulls the drive shaft round and round, and that would move the donuts. The trouble is that a falling weight just gets faster and faster. It would keep accelerating until it hit the ground, by which time there would be donuts and boiling oil flying in all directions and people screaming and health inspectors running. So, an escapement is needed. It regulates the fall of the weight and slows it to a constant rate governed by the length and the weight of a pendulum. Okay, now, now there are dozens of different escapements and I experimented with a few. This is a double three-legged gravity escapement. Well, just a prototype, obviously. It worked, and it could look spectacular with a lot of work, but it was very fussy, and I decided it was too delicate to take to the market and expect it to work consistently in a wobbly cart. So I chose this type instead. It's a twin crown wheel escapement with a horizontal pendulum. Slowed down, you can see that the crown wheel keeps getting stopped by the little arms called pallets. The swing of the pendulum moves the pallets out of the way, but only into the path of the next pin on the opposite crown. It's quite noisy, but it's robust and reliable, and I think it will do for the cart. I added some wooden gears so the weight could fall more slowly and still move the mechanism. I need the donut carousel to rotate about once in two minutes, the time it takes to fry a donut. But if the weight wheel fell that fast, then I would be forever winding it up. So I experimented a lot with gear ratios and ended up with a weight wheel going around only once in 20 minutes. The downside to that is the weight has to be heavier because of all the friction. So I was looking around for something really lumpy and heavy to use, and then I realized that I am really lumpy and heavy. So instead of carrying around a heavy weight, I could just stand on a plank and my weight should operate the mechanism. And it worked. It turns out I am very good at being a heavy weight. But the cogwheels had to be able to take my weight, and especially the bearings. Luckily, there's a hedge not far away that has old cars dumped in it. I cut two wheels off and used the stub axles from those. Even though they must be 40 years old at least, the bearings were perfect. I cut away some of the brake drums to lighten them. The cog wheels themselves are cut from three quarter inch birch ply. The biggest has 40 teeth, so it took a while. I also changed the crown wheels from three pins each to eight pins each, which made things much smoother all round. This donut machine is already turning out to be a really interesting project and the clockwork bit is truly fascinating. And now finally we have a working prototype. Just by standing on a plank I can make donuts rotate. How exciting is that? I just have to turn all this untidy contraption into something that looks good enough to go on a stall in front of customers. Wish me luck.